Hello Seaside members, welcome to our new home. I'm Matt Ash, I've been acting as project manager for the construction. Stanley Silverblatt, our executive vice president and I have been in and out of the building throughout the process and we wanted to have a chance to share with you some of the excitement of the beauty and the features of the new building as we are now halfway through the construction. What you see on the outside here is of course a mess. Uh, we were in the process of talking to some uh, landscape designers to come up with a plan that will be uh, consistent with our modest approach to the building and with our budget. Let's head inside. And by the way, I want to uh, thank uh, Jason Fuckman for video videoing this. As you notice, I'm not wearing a mask. That's because I'm more than six feet away from him and there's nobody else in the building at the moment. So you'll pardon me for that, uh, that flaw. Here is the the uh, entryway, it will be secure. Uh, you'll have the ability to get through this door uh, with a keypad code that uh, every member will have. Once you go past the door, you go into the, uh, to the vestibule here. This is just basically an entry area. At the end of this is another set of doors which will also be secure, always locked. These doors, and all doors in the building actually, will always be locked subject to electronic opening. And in included also is remote opening from the rabbi's office. Let's go inside. Past the vestibule, we come into the foyer, which is really one of the great features of the building. It's got a lot of natural light, as you can see here, and a cathedral ceiling with windows near the top. Uh, and if you remember the stairway in the old building, it was always very cramped and narrow and uh, certainly a fire hazard. We now have uh, here, if you see it this way, a uh, nice wide, eight foot wide stairway going up, and of course we have a stairway going down. Uh, in the middle we have our elevator that uh, it will be a great, a great boon to many people. Let's go upstairs and I'll, I'll show you the sanctuary. Top of the stairs here we have the doorway into the sanctuary. Uh, off to the right is a hallway that will lead to the new rabbi's office. Uh, beyond that will be the restrooms, including the new restroom that will be handicapped accessible. Into the sanctuary here through one of these double doors. Follow me. This is our pride and joy here. We now have a sanctuary with room for everybody. And certainly enough room for us to have a Friday night, a Saturday service, and still observe social distancing. Uh, we have plenty of room to spread out. You can see this is the view towards the front. Uh, the arc, of course, is the same. We'll be getting a reading table that will match the arc, both in color and design. Over to the left here is a storage room for all of our tables, chairs, and other things that we need. And at the very back here, you'll see uh, what is our youth lounge meeting room. That will be uh, great for any of these activities, any of the activities, committee meetings, etc. Uh, this will also be on the uh, audiovisual system, so um, playbacks can occur there. In addition, in mentioning audiovisual, uh, the system which will be located up at the front of the room in the old closet that we used to have, you can see it up there at the far right, um, will be, give us the ability to record any of the services uh, that we're having, any of the other activities, and we're looking towards the ability to add streaming capabilities so you folks can um, participate in the services virtually on the internet in real time. Uh, we're very excited about being able to do that. As you leave the sanctuary through these doors, you head to the stairs. On the right is a coat closet, something we've desperately needed for years. Uh, and there'll be a little balcony wall here that will give us a view of the, uh, the uh, vestibule and the uh, light out there. Let's head downstairs and I'll show you the multi-purpose room down there. Back in the, uh, in the foyer now, and um, on the other side of the elevator, we have the stairway, eight foot wide stairway going down to the lower level. This takes us to the multi-purpose room, the kitchen, and the secure room. Let's head down. All right, we're downstairs in the multi-purpose room. Again, double doors, so there's plenty of uh, access and and egress from the room. We have a, a room the same size as our sanctuary. Uh, you can see on the other side, we have the dividers for the um, classrooms. 
there'll be additional dividers um, so that uh, those classrooms will be remain intact. Next to this is the kitchen. Uh, you can see the service uh, entry, door and entry there. Uh, it's a little bit larger than what we used to have. It'll accommodate all of the uh, cabinets and appliances that we pulled out of that kitchen and room for more. When we can get back to normal, as it was before the pandemic, but our building will be ready when we do. By the way, we're still in the process of raising funds to complete the payments for this expansion. Now is a good time to make a donation to help them get this done. And if you've already made one, consider making another one. Thank you very much, and please contact me or Stanley if you have any questions. And thanks again to Jason.